Yo, what is up guys? This is Twister and today I'm back with another GTA Online video and in this one I've got some pretty nice tips and some shortcuts to show you guys for the brand new stunt races that were added into GTA Online. Now I have previously done a video that had some of the best tips for stunt races in general but I really want to show you guys some tips and some shortcuts that are more specific to the new stunt races that were added and this video was pretty much inspired by this shortcut slash 360 trick shot that I managed to pull off. This is on wall climb. And when you get to the slowdown zones, you can do a handbrake turn, drift past the slowdown strips, and it actually won't slow you down. You just continue all momentum. Uh, you can still hit the checkpoint and you just won't really be slowed down. So that's like a, a really cool shortcut that you can do. It's hard to pull off, but it is possible. And it is slightly quicker because you don't get slowed down. And next up, this is on the same race. There's this spot where you can do a 360 in the tubes, and you'll see this for a few of the other races as well. Basically, if you do a 360 in the tube, you can just carry on more momentum and get more speed boosts as you do the full 360 and go down the side. It's just a better way of keeping up the speed of your car. So doing these 360s in the tubes is a little bit faster, but sometimes you just got to make sure you brake a little bit earlier on the next corner because you will be going faster. Now onto Gauntlet. Here's one you may not have known. You can, well, you can just basically just skip the very first ramp straight after the start finish line uh, you can do it on the first lap as long as you get both the boosts but it basically just means that skipping the ramp you spend less time in the air you land quicker and the quicker you actually land the faster you'll be able to accelerate and obviously you'll be going quicker so that's a nice little shortcut there and then once again on gauntlet there's another spot where you can do a 360 around the tube as soon as you hit the boosts from the wall ride just carry on going up and then you'll just continue all that momentum going back down the tubes once you do the full 360 so again a little bit faster than just taking it normally now onto green machine and there's not many on this track a lot of the tracks basically just involve trying to get as many curb boosts as you can along the rumble strips but on one of the huge jumps you can land a bit off to the side so you land a bit on the downhill section and since you're actually landing on a bit of a ramp you'll pick up more momentum quicker after you've landed so you can get a bit more speed and then also shortly after that jump there's another spot in the tubes where you can just do a couple of 360s you gain a lot of speed in the tubes especially with something like the Nero Custom which is my recommendation for practically all of these new stunt races so just 360 in those tubes it keeps the speed up and gives you quite a bit of a speed boost as well and then the same goes for the next one on spinner once you've done sort of like the main spiral around the maze bank you'll go into a tube section and you can do another nice little 360. It keeps the speed up and gives you so much more momentum on this uh, downhill section as well. But again, just remember you might need to slow down a little bit more once you get to the turn. Now onto lift off, and this one is right before the finish line. Similar to Gauntlet, there's just a ramp that you can completely skip. So that means you'll spend less time in the air, you'll land quicker, and the quicker that you land, the faster you'll be able to accelerate. And if there is someone close enough, but just ahead of you, uh, you can actually overtake them by doing this if they actually take the ramp and you skip it. There you go, you've just gained a position right before the end of the race. Now for Plummet 2, there aren't really any shortcuts, but there's two tips I've got for you guys. The first massive jump from the Plummet section, don't hit the ramp straight, you've got to hit it slightly towards the right, because it's not lined up straight for some reason. I don't know which genius at Rockstar decided to place the ramp too far left, so you've actually got to go on a slight angle up to the right in order to actually make the jump. And then the next jump straight after that, if you go too fast, you can hit the bridge, so just make sure you slow down ever so slightly when going up the ramp, just to make sure that you don't hit the bridge. Again, more of a tip than anything, but you probably know that by now because it's probably happened to everyone at this point. Just one of those rockstar things, I guess you could say, which makes you question whether they actually test these races after they make them, but I don't know. Anyway, next up, this one is on Trench 3. Now, you can make use of a lot of glides on a lot of the big jumps. But once you actually get to some slowdown strips, you can actually just completely skip them. Just make sure that you slow down just enough so you don't hit a wall and go flying off the map. Shout out to Byvane right there, taking one for the team. But again, just a little shortcut to avoid the slowdown zone completely. And then finally, we've got a few good ones on Pier Race. And the first couple involve the tubes. And similar to before, how you can do a 360 within the tubes to keep your momentum up. You can also do a 360 just as you exit in the tube, so as you come down it once again, right as you exit the tube, you'll actually exit at a bit of a flatter angle, so you won't be flying through the air as long. So once again, you'll land quicker, and the quicker that you land, the faster you'll be able to accelerate again to get you back up to speed, because you lose a bit of speed in midair, 
so less time in the air is much quicker. And it's something that you probably need to practice a couple of times to get right because it's not easy to do it first time. And then same again with the second one, just start doing a 360 as you hit the first boost. And then if you get the timing just right, you'll land your car a lot quicker rather than just going flying through the air for ages. So those are two really good ones to try and learn on peer race. Shout out to Oleg, he did a video on this track which is where I first saw those being used. And then finally, once again on peer race, this is straight after the first tube jump and it's the second loop. You can just shortcut right between it if you get close enough to the left. You can't do it on the first one, but you can do it on the second one. So there we have it, those are some of my race specific tips for the brand new stunt tracks that were added into GTA. If you think I've missed any, if you've got any of your own shortcuts that are pretty good, make sure to leave them in the comments below. But if you have enjoyed the video, make sure you do leave it a like rating, subscribe to the channel if you are new, follow me on Twitter, join the Discord server as well. We've actually just hit 100 members in the Discord server, which is pretty awesome. Links to those down in the description. Now, hopefully see you all in my next video. See you later, guys.